Welcome to Cool Plugins. In this video, you can see how to install and create attractive timelines using Elementor Add-in Timeline Plugin. First, you need to install the Elementor Timeline Add-in Plugin. You need to go to WordPress dashboard and click on Plugins and again click Add New. In the Plugins page, you need to type and search for Elementor Timeline. And next, in the Plugin Search Results page, you will find Timeline Elementor Plugin by Cool Plugins. Install the plugin. Once the plugin installation is completed, you need to click and activate it. Next, to use this plugin on Pages, go to Pages and again click Add New. You need to name the page, so enter page title here. And continue editing by clicking this Edit with Elementor button. Here in the search bar, type and search for timeline. Next, drag and drop the story timeline on the page. This is how the stories will look like on the page. This is the default layout of the story timeline, the vertical right left layout which is a two-sided layout. You can change the layout from the two-sided to one-sided vertical right-only layout in the layout section under layout settings. Or we can select the horizontal layout here. In the horizontal layout, you can choose how many slides you want to show on the page. You can select one slide or two or three here to display on the page. And under Timeline Stories, you can click this icon and easily remove a story content. Or you can click this button and add new item. You can drag the Content tab to change the content positions in the timeline. Now, you can click this new content tab and edit the contents in the timeline. You can edit and change primary label here. And next, here change the sublabel text for the content. You can change the title of the content in the title field. And here, you can click and choose image from the media library or upload from computer. Finally, add a brief description here in the description box. Next, you can style the timeline story. Under line settings, click here and select a color for the line. Next, under Icon Box section, change the icon or dot background color. And again, here change the icon or text color inside. Next, in Label, Sub Label section, change the color of the label. Here under Typography, you can change the font family. Here, drag this slider to change the label size. You can change the color of the title here. Here in Typography, you can change the font family. Change the size of the title here. Besides other font settings, you can change the line height and the space between letters in the title here. In the description settings. You can change the color here. Here in Typography, you can change the font family. Again here, change the font size with this slider option in the description. And once done with all the settings, you can update and view the page to confirm the timeline story. And here, you can see the timeline story is published on the page.